Very commonly we tell ourselves stories that we are the sexually liberated generation, that our great-grandparents and great-great-grandparents were kind of repressed by a Victorian prudery. But if we get down to the detail and we look in the nooks and crannies of Europe's cities around 1900, the story is completely different. So you could go into a bar in Berlin, in fact we have the documentary evidence of these of bars in Berlin where people are watching drag shows in 1900. We know that sailors were singing ditties about their boyfriends in the docks of St. Petersburg in 1905. We know that, you, that senior diplomats in the British, in the British uh, Imperial Service were going out and cruising for sex after work at the Foreign Office and the Colonial Office in Whitehall in, in, in the period before the First World War. In fact, when we start to look at the spaces and places of the cities in which our history has taken place, the story's turned right around. After the Second World War, as boys and men get moved into family homes and the new council estates, as they get separated out, as the school life becomes longer and childhood becomes extended, what you see is a massive contraction in the amount of sexual experimentation and adventure that takes place. And by the 1950s, the late 1950s, you see this huge spike in the persecution and prosecution of men in particular for sexual offences. A spike which would never have been possible or wouldn't have been recognised as even desirable by their great grandfathers. So far from the late 50s and the 60s being the beginning of freedom, in fact the late 50s and the 60s are the height of the persecution and the paradigm of the model of sexual normality that perhaps only now we're starting to question and challenge a little bit more. But you can only challenge that paradigm if you start to get your hands dirty and look at the bars and the clubs and the docks and the tube trains and all of the different chaotic places that people had sex in in the period before the Second World War.